Do it. Do the thing. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> so let's do a little <clears throat> new noon time update. I'm about hold on maybe seven miles in. I'm not sure how to check, but I've checked um one, two, three, one, two, three, four cameras so far. Picked up one because there was still nothing on it. The crazy thing is it, it got moved but it looks like something came from the side. I had the camera facing the wrong way toward a wallow from last year. And then like it looked like there was elk beds just to the left of it that it couldn't capture. So I just picked up that camera just cause I haven't gotten anything on it now for five weeks, however long that these cameras have been up here. Um, but got some good bulls I'm sure you've seen them already um, definitely three I would say three shooter bulls that I would be glad to take there's gonna be a lot of bulls so uh, I'll be passing up a lot of elk I think I'm excited oh my god I, we didn't have this many um, um, big bulls on camera last year but definitely we have so far at least five or six I think up here um, but definitely a lot of bulls so I'm excited I'm here at our resting knob uh, by big metal wallow um, it's just north of triple wallow that we used to call it now it's not triple wallow anymore because it just looks so different but that's where the majority of the big bulls were that you just saw I'm gonna set up the camera either right there's a wallow somewhere down here or down in the middle over there so I have to decide where I want to put it but it's time to eat because I am low on energy my legs are killing me today my calf my thigh um, I was hoping that running would make me better I mean I'm hauling ass that's for sure but just in pain I should have brought some medicine so we'll see uh, I still got two more cameras to check and I'm excited about those two because the last time one of them had Mike Wazowski on it and I hope he shows himself better this time or he's on bear wallow one or the other um, once I eat set up this camera then I hike there and then hopefully it'll be smooth sailing uh, looks like there's some storm clouds down south right there Okay, the last two cameras were a bust. Um, the one where it was in the bedding area is kind of thick. I just left it because I know there's elk in there. I was checking the camera or checking the SD card sitting there and that freaking elk walked up on me. I'm not sure if it was a bull or not, but from what I see in the camera, I was, there was a bull like 15 minutes before I got there, but I didn't scare anything until I was sitting there and it I don't know if it just got up or was walking toward me. I don't know, but I just heard commotion. I just seen a big body take off. So only one decent bull on that camera for now, but definitely a bedding area. It's dark in there. And as I was getting to Bear Wallow, um, I saw two bulls, one big one and one decent one take off. And I thought I was gonna see those on our camera, but I don't know what happened. Um, died like the next day. It took 346 photos or something like that and it died. 
so I had to buy higher dollar batteries which sucks but I want to get video and I might have to bring it back in three weeks set it on video mode by then and see what we find but I know there's big bulls in here that's just the main thing is to have um, pictures of some really nice bulls so we'll see how the hunt plays out I'm excited by the time I come back maybe I'll start hearing bugles we'll see but so far I think I've walked like nine miles and another three more miles back to the truck it looks like the rain is possibly coming my way not for another hour or so but I might have to push it so I can get back before it really pours on me way back in here so that's a wrap um it's been a good day like I said I've got awesome pictures of some nice bulls and I saw two good bulls already so I guess that's all I can ask for I am disappointed that that camera died and it's our best spot too but I can't just come back and it's not an easy quick trip because it's a lot of blowdown just to get in here. That's why it's our best spot and elk love it in here. So we'll see what happens. 7 11. I'm on top. I see what I'm talking. I know I have some talking down there. I just have one brown.
Small cat, though, not a giant one. But that was like three weeks ago. <laughs> 